Good morning, sunshines. How are y'all doing out there? Um, gosh, you guys, we have been super busy with things around the farm lately. We uh, just demolitioned, demoed, demolished. <laughs> We just demolished one of our uh, outbuildings. It was just like this old shed and the boys and all the family got out there and we demolished it. So that was quite fun. And we disposed of it and everything's all good. And now it's time to get into the garden. Um, there's a lot of garden work to be done. We're constantly weeding, we're planting today and we're also, the main focus for today is we're gonna be harvesting some of our garlic. So we have some red Russian garlic and we have some elephant garlic. So we're gonna be harvesting that today and we're gonna take you along to show you what we do. Before we get to harvesting the garlic, I was checking out these marigolds. I cannot stand the smell of marigolds. I don't know, I'm just really sensitive to it. And so Erin got this variety, I think it's from Johnny Seeds. Um, I'll have to look it up and I'll put it in the link below, but they don't smell. So you can have the beauty of a marigold without the stinkiness. I just can't get over it. Like this smell literally makes me sick. Like I just, I can't. But look at these. These just look so good. Look at these. But when you start to cut them, they give off this just pungent odor and I just can't stand it. So if you don't like the smell of marigolds, then this variety is for you. Just thought I'd share that. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the garlic scapes that went to seed. You can kind of see how it's like. Whoa. You can see how all the little flowers are putting off these tiny little garlic pieces. Mm, it smells so good. So anyway. Um, but these are, these are the garlic heads. You can kind of see how they're coming up right now. You can see the bulb protruding out of there. And it's just time to start pulling them up. So we'll just give them like a little wiggle. These are all done. You can see everything's dried out. We don't usually go this far. These are fully um, dried up. We kind of let them go. Um, we let them dry out this year. And so we're just going to be pulling them up. Make sure it looks super good. Putting them off to the side. There's the boys. What are you guys doing today? Weeding. Weeding and fishing garlic. All right, he's pulling the garlic. So we're pulling garlic today. <laughs> You're what? It's gonna be easy. Easy, 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 because we are strong. Oh, here's some fun. Ah, hurry! Hurry, everybody! There's only a little amount of it. Can you get the gate uh, open, buddy? Uh, I'll go get the gate. So there's some Russian red and then there's some elephant garlic in here. Elephant? Yeah. Whoa! 
Got a basket full of garlic. Whoa. The stems are pretty long. All right. All right, so we have a drying rack in the shed. We actually used it to cure our onions earlier this year. We actually have a ton of onions on there. So we're just gonna stick them, might tie them together and hang them so that they can go ahead and cure and dry out so that they'll be good for using. these tops, snip off the roots. I don't know if we'll braid them, they're kind of stiff to braid, so we may just go ahead and tie them. But that's it. Thank you guys for joining us today at Four Kids in a Farm. We hope this helps you guys out somehow. We're happy to share this adventure of harvesting garlic with you guys. And yeah, we hope to see you in the next video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next one.